KRBE. Yeah, try Tuesday here on the Rule of Ryan Show and 104.1 KRBE. So we have a variety of things that we like to try, and sometimes we are resistant to trying. Mm-hmm. We also, over the years, have done mystery box, where there's something in the box, you put your hands in the box, you don't know what you're going to get. Then we made this torturous game called Mystery Mouth, yep. where you close your eyes and something has to go in your mouth, well, you just figure out what that is. And Sam created this bit years ago. And yeah, she even, thanks, Sam. She even did like a battery. like where That's because it was funny, but now this is terrible. <laughs> now it's on you. This it's is become terrible. your own. Oh, yeah, the battery, that shocked my yeah. tongue so yeah. hard. But so this is the instrument call. of your own destruction. Well, it's Ruler <laughs> Ryan, Eric, Special K, Sam, Ahmad, and Irvin, who uh, recording all this for digital. You can see it later as we are have our cameras out. So um, Ahmad comes into play how? He's going to do it as well. Oh, they're going to take turns. Okay. Oh, gosh. Now, if you want, we have another blindfold in the top drawer. Could you do both at the same time for the try it? Uh, or do you want to do it one you, at a time? One I'd rather see it, right? just get it over okay. yeah. You guys yeah. both go in the other room real quick. All right. And then we can tell Step everyone out. what we're going to try. Oh, my uh-huh. gosh. And then, We'll go in the top drawer. Go, go in that top drawer, right, and you'll right. see another one. Yeah. A blindfold? One blindfold is like goofy eyeballs. The other one's just a regular one I got from United. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay. United Airlines, here's your polar <laughs> Polaris uh, eye mask. Yeah, put it inside out so we don't advertise. <laughs> no, yeah. Okay, okay. so, so is this like a one bite? <laughs> is this a spoonful? Okay. What is it? Is it something that's even edible? Are you going to give them something that's not even food? This is what it is. I went on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's, it's gosh, called, no. It's called chili. C-H-I-L-L-Y. Like, uh-huh. it's chili outside. And it says ignite your smile. What do y'all think it is? What do you think this ignite is? Ignite uh, your smile, chili. I'm thinking that it's toothpaste. The but what kind of toothpaste? Spiciest toothpaste. Oh. Capsaicin activated toothpaste. Oh, yes. it's, it's called intense spirit. So it's going to burn their mouth. It's toothpaste. Oh, it's supposed to be God. icy, and you get uh-huh. that... that, that not icy hot n- normally. I don't know. I've never tried it before, so that's why we're going to have them try it. Oof. Oh, my gosh. It says an invigorating brushing experience. I bet. Ghost pepper flakes oh and my. menthol are combined for unique fire and ice sensation. That does not sound Capsaicin pleasant. activated for fresher breath because capsaicin Ooh, smells, kills smells. bad breath bacteria. Ooh, smells nice smells and minty. good, so it might just Naturally be... promotes saliva production to prevent dry mouth. A chili, C-H-I-L-L-Y, capsaicin activated toothpaste. How much did this cost on Amazon? Uh, I think seven bucks. Seven dollar toothpaste. How many ounces I mean, is this? This is chili. Well, that's... See, this is 3.4. 3.4 ounces. Okay. At chili mouth. It smells good, but chili if you like the little com. heat and like the mint. So how are we going to give this to them? You're going to put well, swipe it on a toothbrush? We bought toothbrushes. Okay. These are fresh Mom ones. I had no idea why you were sending them out for toothbrushes. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you made that's it buy his own torture device. So what I'll do, I guess, oh. I'll have you... Do, put it, uh, brush one, his one. tongue and you brush her tongue? Yeah, or should we put it on their teeth? I think we should put it on like a toothbrush uh, like and this, then just like... Other teeth. We'll just do one little... We won't yeah. do a lot. We'll just do... No, it. just a little brush on the Mini teeth. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Because Another then they will lick it. No. They'll yeah, lick it because they'll yeah. taste it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah Kevin, a dab will do you. Hmm. That well, is you get really... the toothbrush wet? Uh, no, I think it's fine. We just put no, it on I don't think so. fine, right? But they might need... Is there water around here? We might need like a cup of water for them to instantly be able to rinse and spit. Yeah, get, get, get two I cups of I can only water. imagine how Because if you got a mouthful of... Right, so I'm going to bring them in. Okay. Just don't say... What it is. Yes, yeah, so yeah. you're just tuning into the Rule and Ryan Show. It's Mr. Mouth. So Try it Tuesday. Chili capsaicin activated toothpaste. Okay. We're going to bring in the Mystery Mouth contestants. Is that camera going to pick Sam up? Sam and Ahmad. Yeah, this camera is on me in this X section where. Oh, um, we're going to reframe the camera. Don't yeah, worry, gotta, don't worry. Reframe. We're going to reframe. Yeah, we'll set it up. Yes, and then that one will catch Eric with Sam. So they're walking into the studio. All right, sit down in they're your regular going spot. To of get in their position. Sam, you go over there. And they're going to see. Position. All right, let's reframe is. the camera so we can actually see. Do we have right. a trash can nearby? Yeah, we're gonna get a Cover trash can. Grab a so garbage and we're also case. gonna get you water. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! What? Why? Okay, do I put it on? See, yes. I mean, you're getting us water. You guys have never been so courteous. It's right? probably terrible. Well, we're ah! getting you water because on Try It Tuesday, that's what we do. We always have backup water to rinse our mouths. Oh, we don't please. like it. Like we lies. did pickle you're whiskey last week. Right now, there when was we did, no water. I'm trying to get the trash. Can. We did pickle oh, flavored whiskey last oh, week, weird. so we had water. Yeah. You know, it's Try it Tuesday, remember, not just Mystery Box. All right. Oh, mystery Mouth. Man. If this like All pokes right. the inside of my mouth, I'm going to be so mad. I'm really okay. nervous. So, Eric and I are going to be the administrators of the item for Mystery <laughs> Mouth. 
Sam is yeah. to Eric's left. Ahmad is to my right. So, oh. <laughs> you guys wearing your blindfolds need to... All you need to do is smile. Grin. Ryan, why right. are you tapping me? I, I'm, I'm yes, trying to right. tell you. Right. Ahmad, why are you, you touching want to grin, You want to grin like you're getting ready to brush Where's your teeth. Where's the trash can? Yeah, no. just, just smile, Sam. Where's just the smile. trash can? Is it poop? No. Oh, wait, okay. Wait, wait. But just, just, just give us a big grin. Just smile and show us your pearly white. Wait, I like my teeth. Ah, okay. A big grin. I like my teeth, though. Put your teeth together. I know. It's so terrifying. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Yes, I'm doing it. Go. Okay. What is that? Toothpaste. But what kind? You gotta give it a little brush roller. <laughs> so weird. You gonna brush it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brush right. his brush his teeth. There you go. Okay. It's think... just like toothpaste. What the hell? That's it. Is it real minty? Yeah. Yeah. There's taste nothing it. else. Do you taste anything? Is it a fail? Hmm. I don't know. It's we don't know. Toothpaste? It's spicy. There like, oh, it's spicy. got a delayed kick. Oh, 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 Wait, that just hit me at the same oh, oh, time as it hit you. Oh, what the heck? Oh, oh, take off your blindfold. Take off your blindfold. Right, here's, here's, here's some water. Here's some water. Here's some water. Here, and there's, there's, there's a trash can. Well, that was a delay. That was like, it, it yeah, really it took is. about five it seconds. It is capsaicin activated ghost pepper toothpaste. Ah! Oh, wow. Ah! Oh, my gosh. What? Is it so hot? It's really hot. I am dying. <laughs> rinse, rinse, rinse. Like, <laughs> <swirling> <laughs> rinse. At first, I thought it was a fail. <laughs> they were like, oh, it's just minty. And like then swirl about and rinse, swirl five and rinse, to ten seconds rinse. later. Swirl and rinse. Yeah. Oh, now they're in pain. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> swirl and that rinse. is terrible. <laughs> does it feel good? Like min- does minty? It mi- does, you it burn your, minty? does it burn do you your lips? Do you feel refreshed? I do, but it's really spicy. It's so spicy. It smells really it's good so in the spicy. studio. It was weird because oh. it was like five seconds. You guys, I'm like, oh, yeah, what's the big deal? Like Her toothpaste. eyes are red. What's the big deal? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sam, Sam the poor thing. You put so much in my mouth. Yeah. And you can handle some spice, Mom. I can mine. handle some spice. I beg you to tell Raisin Kings to bring hot sauce. Remember, okay. I can't handle spice after pre-pregnancy. Oh, that's oh, right. Oh, 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 that's oh, oh, you. Yeah, Sam's Ooh, nose is running and her running. eyes are red. Oh, you are flushed hey. red, Can you Sam. keep rinsing, right, Sam, or does it not work? Well, Dang. the water is so that's... cold now, my teeth are real sensitive. Oh, oh man. You need some Sensodyne instead of that yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I think I have a bottle of no, room Eric. temperature water, Sam. Oh. Hold on. Eric, do you want to try it? It's killing me. I know it's killing Sam. I know it's, you're dying to try it. I want to try this. I, I want to, but I've had just an ulcer. Just put a little bit. I don't really want to. I have like, room temperature it's water. Would that help you? You have to put it on your lips, I think, is where they Would this help you? Oh, yeah. Room temperature water? Okay. Yeah, you I'll have just it. Pour it in the cup. Yeah, if I see her it. hurting that bad, does it, your, does it feel minty cup. though? Does it feel? The you thing feel is, the mintiness. It's super minty. Oh, thanks. You really should have some milk oh. or something. Oh, oh yes. I can't even milk. open the water. Oh, Kevin, no. you always bring milk. In. I know. I always have milk oh. on hand. No, it's, all I have is the yogurt. Okay, for those just tuning in, we just did mystery mouth, and it's chili toothpaste, intense spearmint flavor. It's capsaicin activated toothpaste, and it has ghost pepper flake in it. So it's got a delay. Um, reaction. It yeah. says the xylitol inhibits growth of bacteria that causes tooth decay and it's hydrated silica gently polishes and whitens your teeth. But the sp- spice, um, c- it combines for a unique fire and ice sensation. So that's like a five second. So the capsaicin like, has a, uh, it, it's it got to interact. It kills bad breath bacteria. It's on my lips. It's, it is lingering on my lips. Yeah. It's not in my mouth anymore. It's just on my lips. And what's capsaicin? I feel like my lips are going to That's what causes the, the heat of the, yeah. the capsaicin yeah, like level of a pepper. Yes. Like what's the capsaicin level of the pepper? Like that's the, that's the thing that, where's another word? Capsaicin is what makes it hot. Okay. This capsaicin is a spot. Yes. It's the, it's the, the, the heat element. Chemical property. That is. Scale, what a 10. It's chili pepper extract it? is what it is. Uh, okay. What would you give it a mod? So prank somebody else a 10. Yes. Oh. Without oh, them wow. knowing, is, your, absolutely. What, do you guys want to take it home and do prank your lips your mate? No. My lips are burning. My lips still burn. My mouth still burns. But now you got puffy Should lips. Should I throw away the toothbrush? Oh, or do yeah. you want to? Keep right. your toothbrush. No, Save your I don't want the toothbrush. Okay. My nose wants to stop dripping. Well, there you go, my friends. It's called Chili. Eric found it on Amazon for about seven bucks. C H I L L Y. Chili Mouth.com. Stop, stop drinking the water. I just looked it yeah, up. Yeah, it's making it worse. Water might seem like a good idea to quench the fire yeah, in your mouth, but the not. water actually activates the capsaicin. It's so like it's making it worse. It, it's spreading it. Oh, it's no, making it yeah. worse. Do not drink water. You really. Wow. Kevin, give him some of your yogurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the Can water is not like what a, you're supposed to be drinking. Since we don't have anything dairy based, I know like. Coffee creamer is usually not even real dairy, but no, no, there's ice cream, cream in the freezer. Oh, yeah, go stick your yeah. mouth on that bluebell frozen cinnamon ice cream. Just go stick yeah. your mouth right on the top of that. I have a banana, Sam, okay, if you want it. A banana? 
Ew. Frozen bananas? Yeah. No. Gross. She with the water, though. The, like water is, the water is lip The water is activating the capsaicin. <laughs> it does smell very minty fresh in here. Well, we went say. from, it's I'm like, this proper. is a dud, it's not working, to, oh, Whoa. really? Oh, it it at the really same worked. time, which is crazy. I really yeah. almost kind of try it myself. I'm so intrigued. I know, I come up try it. It's weird. But... You just witnessed the two of them in massive pain. That's Do what, it. Maybe you guys should get on live. I want to yeah, you guys should get so on live. You should get on live it. and try it. Yeah, I can. And also, how much do, can you take to brush your teeth with that? Because you put a big gob on a mod's teeth. Yeah, and I thought Eric was going to be the worst one. You put all that on mine. But he, I think he put it on the toothbrush, though. I was just trying to brush it on your teeth. Okay. Sam's got those big white choppers. Choppers, so yeah. I know. I, th- I was worried they were going to go away. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so there you go. Chili toothpaste. Bite for yourself. Have fun with that. Or prank somebody. A lot yeah. of heat. All right, um, coming up next, uh, you want, we go, we're going to go around the table. Around table. Some of these we didn't we're going to get give Ray a chance to calm down from this capsaicin yeah. fire up I in here. I can't talk on mouths. the phones. I can't. <laughs> I know. He cannot. He cannot. So um, let me tell you something. Every single day is a different day. Like there's tortilla day and there's April Fool's day. It's national, and there's national whatever cheesecake day. cheesecake day. Um, there's tipping day. And we've got to talk about that next on The Real and Ryan Show. She just did the spicy toothpaste that we had for Try It Tuesday. She wanted to try it, and I just yeah. watched her. She was in the... It's on KRBE's uh, Instagram. She's in the yeah. ladies' room. She's getting back right now, so... So you can get to that story here in a second, but... Here's uh, way. Uh, how to feel. I want to hear. I saw I was watching it. Okay. Yeah. 100%, like the guys gave us the yeah. example. Yeah, the delayed. delayed reaction, because the saliva activates the capsaicin. I feel like the water did, because once I well, started feeling the burn... Water. Once I started feeling the burn, yeah. and I go, ha, 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 and I, started, and I went to go rinse it, that is almost like the the igniter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then it was like, oh! Rinsing your mouth was the igniter. The fuel to the fire. Yeah. Do you yes. not remember what I said in the last break? I yeah, said, don't yeah. take water because it's going to make it well, worse. Well, I got to rinse it out of my mouth because I don't want to come in here with toothpaste mouth. <laughs> no, you got to get some um, milk. I almost feel like if you, I Does can't imagine fresh? a whole mouth being like brushed with this, but I'm so curious to know. If I wasn't under this time crunch, could I actually brush my teeth the way I normally do with mm-hmm. this? And how long will it last? Like, how, how much could I handle? Or Without, what would be the end? Just like on your, if it's just on your teeth, but once the toothpaste... It's on my tongue. But once the toothpaste lip, gets inside, inside the mouth my cavity, lips like, what burn. like the okay, any actually, kind of moisture... Okay, actually, I have a good example for you guys of what it tastes like. And I know that you guys here on the show, we, people bring us food a lot of times. Yes. Years ago, the Halal guys brought us food. Oh, yeah. Okay, you know Halal guys. You've probably seen them everywhere. Well, that's oh, I love that. There is a red sauce that they promote. Oh, yeah. And it is pure heat. Mm-hmm. That there, to me, there is no taste advantage to it other than to burn your tongue. And that is how Mom, this What's that stuff on that? Taste uh, those ramen? Like? What's that's that? Just too I buy? What's it called? Oh, the Bulldog Ramen. I buy this we my have daughter. to try that one Tuesday. It's super spicy ramen. Oh, no. Like, your stomach will be on fire, but it tastes I don't want so to, good. See, that doesn't. I, I it love so spice. Good, though. I love some heat. It's good, but when it's so hot that you're in agony, that's not enjoyable. Okay, so here's what I think. I think that when you have heat to a food, it's supposed to enhance the flavor of your food. There are some sauces that will just destroy the meal. Yes. Like you, you can't even taste the food because no, the food is so out. hot from the sauce. Need a good balance. Th- this. Chili toothpaste. I'm almost intrigued to do an entire like Take little brushing. It's yours. Merry Christmas. Because I just want to know, it, it, am I just like under the pressure of the gun of the minutes that we have? Like, oh, I hurry up and do this. Because I almost feel like now that I've rinsed it on my mouth, I'm like, oh, it's kind of refreshing. But well, it does have a spicy tip to my tongue. Well, take that a I can't few feel. seconds, relax a little bit. He, mm-hmm. Ryan's got a lister line. Yes. He wants to play. Then we'll talk about your tipping. Yeah, okay, tipping well, let's get to the tipping. But first, okay. uh, this gentleman is making a prediction. He is an avid listener of the show. He listens through podcast. He was listening to Rula's birthday, and this is like what two weeks ago. March 18 was my birthday. It was a Monday. So he was listening to that episode, and he noticed something about the way Eric was fawning over Rula. Listen to this. <laughs> Eric, when it comes to anything Rula, like, you just make all these special concessions and conditions. and I mean, it's just so apparent to me. My gosh, Eric is secretly in love with Rula. And it's just so apparent, like, all the time. But this just confirmed it. Oh, I feel so bad for you that you're going to get a shirt. And, oh, you know, I feel so bad for you. And uh, let me take you here. To, let me give you money. Let me take you to Target. I don't know. I'm calling it now. 2024. If y'all significant others die, you're definitely going to try to get in there and get that. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, this is very awkward to be in this room. I can't believe you just played that. Mm. Uh, 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 Where's that one that you had? Can I get that? Oh, the one that I, I had. Oh, the one that, that I've been saving about Ryan. Yeah, you can play that oh. one. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I mean, it's time show? to turn the tables. I've got, I've got some on all of you. I like this one. <laughs> what show did that guy listen to that this guy thinks Eric buys me things and takes me to Target? Yeah. Either know. that guy doesn't because, like me because, at all, and because it's because you got hyper a crappy for him. gift on QVC, and I oh, think that's right. what he was talking about. Oh yeah, we do the QVC yeah, we'll- roulette to see what's the QVC QVC or HSN item at the time that we say mm-hmm. go to the TV. That's our Christmas. That's our birthday gift, and I got this. That's that one guy that always tank top. He goes after picks me a, a yeah, lot. Picks on you and me. Like, yeah. Oh, you guys are taking the women's yeah. side or something. No, he's he's going after me a few times. I'm sorry, I love everyone on this show. I think just, we have one. Some just, people I just don't for a little longer. Yeah. Well, I do love it. You want to come after me again? All right. Okay. You want to talk tipping or what are we doing? Yeah, um, tipping. We got tipping. Uh, okay. Right. So tip. skip oh, you that have other one? call. Oh, you have a call? I have a real salty call. From I mean, who? I got to I gotta, I gotta cleanse the palate or bring more drama. <laughs> well, no. I don't remember what it is. That one's true. Let us hear the call. That one's true. I've got a few it's, on you. I mean, it's scathing. Okay. All right. Bring it. All these jokes that you're. This is about Ryan. No. Okay. No. All right. I want to well, hear you're this lucky one I missed, You're lucky we missed it this time. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, let me Let's go, go to the t- oh, I, want, I want a battle going on. I, I, want, I want to see what happens here. Um, as we have oh, uh, previously pointed out over the years on the Rule and Ryan show, you know, some people are confused as how much to tip the person that is giving them a service, whether it's somebody who's doing your hair or someone who helps you with your packages or whatever it is. I don't know. Whatever you're confused about. How much do you tip to go? All that stuff. Tipping in general is how people make their entire incomes in Houston. If you were in the hospitality industry, mm-hmm. that's why when the restaurant shut down for COVID, all these people went broke. And you are supposed to tip. And we guilt yeah. ourselves to thinking even when it's a crappy service, you still want to give them 15 to 20 percent. Well, if your income relies on tips, this is the day that you will make the most money and the day that you will not make the most money. They say on average, according to WalletHub.com, guests tend to be the stingiest when tipping on a Sunday, <laughs> but they are the most generous on a Saturday. So if you have a choice in your schedule, do you want to work Saturday or Sunday, and you work on tips, you should pick the Saturday. Well, because you probably lose more judgment on a Saturday if you've been drinking, but on a Sunday, mm-hmm. you're not going to turn up as much. What about brunch people, honey? I mean, how many of us are going to brunch anymore? That's probably a younger population oh, who doesn't definitely. really. And they don't once tip once as people well. start yeah. having uh, kids, they're not getting up on Sunday morning doing a four-hour brunch. No. So your tipping day is Saturday to make the most I money. That. You're happier we that day. We as, as um, you know, uh, tippers are more generous on Saturday, and you as the hospitality worker are making more money on Saturday. So Saturday is tipping day. Because that day I feel like you're like, oh, I got the whole day. I don't have to go to work till Monday still. Sunday, you're mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm going to work tomorrow. What about Friday? You start planning for the day. Yeah. You got to start planning for the week, what to eat. How's everything about your bills? It says, it says steadily the tips go up as the week progresses, but the the height of the tip is on Saturday. Saturday. Sunday has the least. I, I can see that. I saw this on Reddit. I wanted to talk because I only have a couple minutes here. Uh, your non-dominant hand is replaced by a robot hand, okay? So you lose your hand. Like, it's gone. Hypothetical okay. world. What okay. gadget would you want to replace it? Like this. Oh, I can't have a like gadget? a Terminator hand? Yeah, like this one. The top hook? one is a flashlight in the palm. So, like. If you had a if this hand, it'd be a flashlight. A mechanical Which I, hand with okay. a flashlight. If you had a flashlight in your phone, why would you want a flashlight as your number one? Well, flashlight, you can't grasp anything. I would think with this generation, things. you'd want a phone just built in. This one says a laser. This one says integrated a smartphone or touchscreen into your hand. Oh, yeah. Which would be great because you don't want to carry it around your your pocket. Well, I believe that's already hand. happened with my daughter. I think it's it's grown into her hand. It's just started growing into it? <laughs> and yet, with an Apple Watch. She never like answers when I call. <laughs> yeah, get her an Apple Watch, then she has no excuse. Oh, that's true. Then you got to pay 10 bucks a month, though. No. No, you can get it for free. It just has to be hooked up to Wi-Fi and your phone. Has yeah, to but she'll by. use that as an excuse. Yeah. If he uh, pays the 10 I, was, bucks. I wasn't on Wi-Fi. I was at work. I was going to say, that's how I use mine. Thank you, And Eric. then uh, a screwdriver on your fingertips. Kevin would like that. Oh, yeah. Imagine uh, all the gadgets you could put. Yes. Phillips. Well, I need a, I need a Phillips and a flathead. <laughs> yeah. Because I'll be working on old houses. <laughs> that means my hand. Can you change that out? Because, you know, you definitely don't want to have that hand, you know, when you're in uh, romance mode. Well, it depends on what you're having romance with. If it's a robot. <laughs> oh, yeah. my gosh. Oil can. I was going to say, oh, if, it's, yeah, if like it goes to our personality, yeah, then Sam minutes. should turn her hand into a, a, a refillable craft beer. Mine should be oh, a container right. of, like, uh, Purell wipes. You know what I mean? Like Clorox wipes. I'd have a built-in flask. Like a flask. Eric would have a built-in flask hand. What would Ryan's hand be, built be? A uh, vape. <laughs> 
Yeah. 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 Yes. Continuous vape. It'd be um, weird to hold it like that. That's, that's funny. I'll put my finger so, in my mouth. Is, is there a story that this would actually happen with the no, rise of the machine? It's a bunch of idiots to get together mm-hmm. on Reddit. Say Somebody thing. said Wolverine claws. Uh, dude, didn't you see the SNL skit on that when the, there really was a Wolverine? Like, ah! They keep cutting themselves. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, <laughs> it's like I mean, a bloodbath every time. Those things are so sharp. Like, it's yeah. not cool. It's How do you go cool to the bathroom like that? Or just anything. Yeah. You, you accidentally just shoot it off and it just... Yeah. What's I, the word? I couldn't imagine, what's I, the word? I couldn't imagine hey. wiping being and, too pleasant. What's the word? What? Like, uh, when it goes out. Oh, eject. Um, what ejects? is the word? Injects? No. No. Ejects. No? Because ejects means it separates. What is it? It goes... Project. Like what is that? No, what is that? When 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 the blades come out, you just go. It and releases. The blades come out. It like flips out. You you it flip was, out the blades. There's gonna be a word. What is that word? E- <laughs> eject. No. I what have is no word? Idea. So he texts us at three seven three zero. It's the opposite of retract. That's what I'm saying. It's not retract. Yeah. It's... So it protracts. No. Wait. Protracts. Is that it? No. no. I don't know. Are you just making words up now? Yeah. No, we're trying to figure out the words. Like what is the word? When Wolverine shows the blades, the blades come out. What do we call that? They they appear. You don't say yeah, it's like, blades out. Like, I don't know <laughs> what you say. <laughs> you say blades out. <laughs> That's how it comes out. He has to say that. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. What out. does Spider-Man do when he wants the web to sling? I don't know. Just, he just slings Extrude. it. Extrude. I don't know. Extracts? No. Somebody's going to text us. It'll out. take us a minute, but we'll be back and uh, tell you about yeah, that. Yeah, we're not because good science. It, it, yeah. Protrude. Have, Protrude? Yeah. I don't know about that. They're protruding. That doesn't sound like X-Men type. No, nah, Protrude. Release? Wolverine, Protrude. Uh, I'm the Protruder. <laughs> Extend? <laughs> Extend. We'll figure yeah. it out. Raising Canes is coming in here next for a great cause. We'll tell you why on the Roland Ryan Show and 104.1 KRBE. KRBE. Back to the Roland Ryan Show. All right, how you can get some tasty food and help a great cause all in the same, the same, same time. Yeah. Two birds with one stone. That'd be Thanks. the word I'm looking. Yeah. With my extending um, claws. Yeah, we were, trying, we were trying to figure that out earlier. By, by the way, the Wolverine conversation we just had, like, what is it called when um, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine character, like, shows his claws? Like, is it, it, it projects? He extends. Is, is it, somebody said it extends. Because people said catapult, ejects, extract. <laughs> Who knew? Nobody is it knew. projects? Is it... <laughs> Shows his blades like we didn't know what the phrasing was, and the texts are hilarious because nobody really could understand how to say what Wolverine does. But we have decided that it is he extends his blades. People said unsheath. No, does he unsheath his blades? You unsheath no. the sword. You no. pull the cover he off. Extends his blades, <laughs> and that's now how we know it shows your claws if you're going to be Wolverine. Anyway, that was a two B continuous. Then rapid fire tomorrow. Exactly right. We'll probably mix it up. Uh, maybe not. Um, I'll okay. Forget. So you know I have a partnership with Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers Sprouts. Sponsored University of Houston Athletics and everything yeah. else. And uh, Michelle is here from Raising Canes, and I'm very excited that you're here. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Rula. Hi. Is, and Maz especially excited because he's been saying, hey, man, yeah. aren't the Canes God's going to bring us some chicken fingers anytime soon? He's like, we like, hear you talk about it, Rula. I know we can. Make that I love happen. love it. Speaking of Michelle, the chicken. Michelle, Michelle is the chicken. queen over here. Mm-hmm. So um, Raising Canes has how many locations, Michelle, in the Houston listening area? We have 53 in the greater Houston area. That goes from Huntsville to Lake Jackson to Victoria and everywhere in between. Wow. Okay. I love it when I see other like states. Like My friend does a show in, in L.A., and they're starting to get them. And they're just lining up. I'm like, rookies. We've <laughs> had that forever. <laughs> We've had it for, for like two, over 12 years or so. It's so there crazy. is a fundraiser going on at every single location today. And it is the easiest way to do something that is completely effortless as a Raising Cane's customer to help a great cause. Why don't you tell us about it? Yeah, so today from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m., you can go to any Raising Cane's in the greater Houston area and mention Autism Speaks in the drive through or dine-in, and 15% of your check will go directly to Autism Speaks Houston right here locally. Yeah. Today is World um, Autism Awareness Day. Um, Meredith Williams is here as well. She's mm-hmm. a volunteer with Autism Speaks. Hi, Meredith. Welcome to the show. Hi. Hi, Hi. Meredith. So what is Autism Speaks' primary goal? Uh, our primary goal is uh, advoc- advocacy, Get a advocacy closer to the mic so for everybody, mm-hmm. anyone who is autistic, uh, whether you are young, they're young or they're first diagnosed, getting uh, early interventions and the helps that they would need, uh, transitioning to adulthood, uh, finding jobs or whatever else they would they would need. So is there a way that you can volunteer your time if maybe somebody in your life um, is not affected. Did you don't have somebody in your life with they autism? Donate, they want to donate they money. Wanna, or they want to donate, donate money. Uh, their time. What what helps y'all the most? Uh, time and money are both amazing things. Um, we always need volunteers. You mm-hmm. can always go to the website autismspeaks.org and look for upcoming events. Um, the 
website of We'll have separate websites for the events where you can sign up to volunteer. Mm-hmm. Uh, whatever the event is, you can donate. Um, and we are we're always wel- we always welcome anybody. And today, the easiest way you can help them with your time and your money is going out of your way to make sure that you get hot, delicious, cooked to order chicken fingers at any fifty three Raising Cane's locations in the Greater Houston area. And fifteen percent of what you paid for that meal is going to go straight to Autism Speaks Houston if you just mention that. You could say Autism Speaks. You could say World Autism Awareness Day. Even Mary said, just say the word autism, and they're going to just check the box. <laughs> and you and they're going to give the money there. That's something we all have in common. We have to all have dinner tonight, or your kids got sports tonight. For sure. After, Tailgate boxes. After, after softball practice or baseball or something. Attention or... sports teams. Attention. Attention oh. parents who are going <laughs> to provide the food after the game and go get all those tailgate boxes. 4 to 9 p.m. at any Raising Canes. 53 locations. How many years have y'all done this now, Michelle? This is our third year in a row to partner with Autism Speaks. That's great. Um, it's an amazing organization that not just benefits people on the spectrum um, among their from youngest to oldest through an adulthood but they also wrap their arms around the families as well which that's so what it's I was a great cause and Meredith what let's just uh, for anybody listening for the first time what is autism I think we've all been we know somebody w- with autism but what exactly if somebody's listening right they don't know anybody with autism what is autism uh autism is a neurological difference um it's a spectrum they're all different. Everybody is different that has mm-hmm. autism. Um, and challenges in social skills, challenges yeah, there's, in Yeah, some people behavior. have great social skills. Some mm-hmm. people don't. Some people hyper-focus. Others maybe don't hyper-focus as much. Um, uh, it's some are verbal, some are non-verbal. There's, there's a huge spectrum. Um, and you can't just say, like, it is one specific thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's... Our goal is to help everybody. Yeah, and autism, according to y'all's website, is it um, affects an estimated one in thirty six children and one in forty five adults in the United States today. Wow! Today's World Autism Awareness Day. You wear blue. You guys have probably seen the puzzle piece is their um, logo. Oh, yeah. And so you can wear blue. You can go to Raising Cane's between 4 and 9. And, and whatever your meal costs, 15% will go to Autism Speaks Houston. Uh, you can go to Autism Speaks is it Houston.org or just AutismSpeaks.org? AutismSpeaks.org, but you can also search for the Houston page on there. Right. So Meredith Williams is here. At what age can uh, would you, can you figure out diagnose diagnose it when a child has autism? You can see signs as early as eighteen months. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. I don't believe they do official diagnosis till about three years old. Okay. But um, you can see signs as early as eighteen months. My son was about eighteen months old when I first started noticing that there were changes. Something just was different, something was off, and um, I needed to get him some help. Was it like a delayed developmental response that you were not seeing him? Like maybe some kids were doing something that he was not on? Because that's how we we gauge our children, right? When we go to the doctor, they ask you, are they trying to walk? Are they trying to crawl? But well, they always yeah. tell people, oh, my child's in the what percentile? Yeah, yeah. He was, my son was hitting all his milestones on time or early for uh-huh. the first year of his life. He was doing, it was, you know doing what you're supposed to do as a baby. Sure, sure, sure. Um, He was a huge baby, too. (laughs) Um, And then around 18 months, I noticed he hadn't really grown much at all in the last six months. He'd been the same. He was the same size for almost two years. Wow, okay. Close. But that he'd gone from running around to uh, not really walking nearly as much, falling down a little bit more, which was a little strange. Um, He was a very social baby, always happy and smiling and messy, you know, playing with other kids. And then he was playing by himself and he wasn't playing with others as much. And I, he was saying phrases, but not where he was supposed to be speech wise. And so I would bring it up to the doctor. And at first they were like, well, let's just wait. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. And then finally it's like, okay, yeah, we're going to get him tested and see what's going on. Okay. That's Meredith Williams that you're hearing here on the Roland Ryan show. She is with Autism Speak. She's a volunteer and she's a parent. Uh, Michelle is here from Raising Canes and they have 53 locations in our greater Houston area today between four and 9 p.m. Whatever it is you order at Raising Cane's, whether it's the drive through or inside of the register, 15% of the proceeds will go to Autism Speaks if you just say it is World Autism Awareness Day. Yep. I'm here for Autism Speaks. I heard it on the Rule and Ryan show today about autism. That's why I'm <laughs> craving these chicken fingers. And for anybody who might be new uh, to this world, and I know it's very scary for anybody to find out anything is not on the right path, autismspeaks.org has a great website with a 
lot of links. A Parent's Guide to Autism, one for grandparents and siblings, a 100-day kit for young children, school-age children, adult autism diagnosis toolkits. Very, 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 very helpful. All the tools. So thank you guys so much for yeah, being in here today. Oh, by the way, thank you for having us. I've been a big fan of Raising Canes for since you moved here, since you guys came in to town. And I will say, I applaud you because you keep this cane sauce in the same uh, container. Some places I've been to, I've noticed they'll shrink their uh, <laughs> sauces. Oh, no. <laughs> Definitely not. There's a hamburger place I used to go to, and they get the spicy ketchup. And I remember, I would go, and I remember that. And no one else knows but me. It's like a dipping barrel. They changed it around like 2006 or seven. They made it smaller, but you guys keep it the same. And so. we hand make it in house uh, at the restaurant. That. Yes, and you can get a whole thirty-two ounce cup of it. Did y'all know that too? You well, now ask. I do, and thank you. Mm-hmm. I will be getting that. Michelle and everybody <laughs> at Kane started out with a different job. Like your actual title right now is area leader of marketing, but you started as area leader of marketing. Oh, you did. <laughs> Everybody always on their shirt well, says, like, yeah. I used to make the chicken because you have to make so all the stuff. Everybody goes through crew training. Yeah. Okay. So crew training. I, yeah, I went through crew training. So you know how to make in the, the restaurant. Sauce. I went also through manager training. So okay. we are fry cooks and cashiers first. And you see That's people- what I'm saying. Everybody yes. says fry cook on their shirt was, when you yes. meet them. I was telling these guys, my daughter started doing this like a year ago from TikTok, taking mm-hmm. the Texas toast, cutting it, opening it. Like put, a hot dog bun. Yeah, oh, yes. And then put the chicken finger in it and then yes. pour the king sauce and put the fries and then eat the It's a pro pie. move right there. Yeah. Pro move. We're going like to do that, that. to try it Tuesday. That's why <laughs> there won't be any of these left to try because we're going to eat them all. Oh, yeah. uh, Raising eat them right now. Kings chicken fingers. Go to RaisingKings.com to find out which one's closest to you. You can download their mobile app. And today, 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 from 4 to 9, do a great thing. Fill your tummy with some Raising Cane's and donate money to a great cause. AutismSpeaks.org is the website. It is Autism Speaks Houston that we are focusing on. It is World Autism Awareness Day. Wear blue and do a great thing. Support. Thank you so much, guys, for coming in to tell everybody that. And thanks even more so for feeding the Rule and Ryan show. It's, oh, it's lunchtime for us. <laughs> it is lunchtime for us. Here we go. Time for the Rule and Ryan show on KRBE to tell you what's going down. In H-Town. Well, the Woodlands is once again the best city in the United States to buy a house. This is according to Niche.com. Are there any houses left there? Well, this I year like the they, Woodlands... Yeah, all snatched up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, they're grabbing them. <laughs> Kevin's like so sad he I says tried. it because he tried to buy some and he couldn't. <laughs> <Mm-mm>. <laughs> oh, you you didn't have any money left to buy that? <laughs> no, I'm, I had to stick with the heights. I, I thought you had all the millions. <laughs> I, d- I am a real estate millionaire now. I spent it all. Bra- so, it's no, gone. No, I, now I have to wait again. <laughs> But a little bit of update to that. I, after two weeks, I Airbnb'd uh, I our house, and I'm following along with the plan that Booster and I devised, which was a 30-day stay. And boom, Booster made that house so pretty. That they we just got rented that, themselves out of the house they live just, in. They got nowhere to stay now. now are you going <laughs> to do those? Next are you going to do those short-term leases where people rent out the house and have the wild parties and make the videos? Uh, um, well, these are 30-day stays, so they're not the short-term. They're uh, okay. mid-term. Yeah, so they have a 30-day movie you'd like to make. It's going to take you 30. Days to film it, you can go around Kevin's house. Oh my gosh, he has a very nice kitchen. Hey, I, I'll take any money as long as it's green. Nice. I wish they were filming something there. Like you're like, oh, what is this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Hey, that's, 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 my, that's my house. That's my couch. That's my countertop. Oh, hey, as long as I get a little piece of that scratch. Oh, I thought you were saying what was happening. Revenge coming up next. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Can I get some of that? There is something oh that uh, you need to know about when people want to get back at the person that got them. But the, here's the trick. They don't know they got got. Does that make sense? They don't know they got got yep. until we get that person on the phone and they tell them <laughs> that they got got. And by uh, who did it to them. Exactly. Yes. Revenge is next on The Rule and Ryan Show.